everyone, my name is Brian John and I live in New York City. I work for an NFT startup and this is day in the life of what it's like to be at a New York City startup that works with NFTs. Today's actually what we call a launch day in the NFT space. We're launching a collection. Our uh, launch pad is helping a project team launch collection. It's a special one. Uh, we're working with a team called Solardex. This is not a promo of any kind, not financial advice, do your own research. We're helping them launch a collection that is a representation of something called a Mutant Ape Yacht Club. I'm sure you've seen some version of this before. This is the most famous NFT. They're launching a version of that through Solana. Overly complicated. Basically, imagine there's a house and you get to buy shares of that house. Except the house is in America and you live in Korea and you get to partake in the benefits of owning that house by owning parts of that house. Yes, this, this is what we're launching today. And with launching that comes a lot of different marketing and technical responsibilities. Right now I'm about to jump in what's called a Twitter space or a audio forum where people are gonna come ask questions to this team, to our team about what this project is about. And basically we're gonna market it, shill it, and see how it goes. We're launching in about two hours. I'm Richard, I'm CEO and co-founder of Solar Dex. Uh, as you can see, we have upgrade. Yeah, I think I really appreciate the transparency. Of, you were essentially saying it's a great way to channel in um, more human resources and more people from the from the community. You're very open about going cross chain. This is obviously gonna bring uh, ETH folks over. One of the things that you gotta optimize for, especially if we're working remote sometimes and with a team of actual friends is gotta be making sure people are doing work. Uh, so within startups, you do this thing called stand up uh, and tech companies too. And I believe just companies in general where you stand up and talk about the things that you did yesterday, the things that you'll be doing today. Everyone's aligned, everyone knows what each other's doing. You can ask questions, you can bring things up. I'm about to jump into it. Um, I'm the only one in the office today. We use Google Hangout here at Hyperspace. I think at this point you might be wondering where the hell is everyone else? Uh, today's actually work from home day, which is why I'm comfortable recording somewhat of a cringe vloggy video. Um, I'm actually gonna do this every Wednesday probably because I'm not confident enough to do this while people are here. I don't even know if they wanna be in videos. I do think it's quite important to showcase something like this at a time like this where people are always doing traditional things like banking or consulting, becoming a lawyer, trying to become a doctor, but being a startup at this age is quite cool. And I think I have the awesome opportunity to be in a pretty free, innovative, fun space. Company allows me to do things like this. I want you guys to be a part of this experience. Whoever's watching this to dream big, Maybe I am leading you into the wrong way and your dad is gonna be mad at you for not becoming a banker, but dude, you gotta try things. You gotta be living in New York and working with the boys. 15 minutes, 13 minutes away from Mint. Uh, have the announcement ready, ready to go. Feel a little nervous. Mint day is always a little nerve wracking, but let's get this Macy Mutant Yacht Club out to the world. So as an NFT marketplace, there's two things that we're targeting. People that are already using NFT stuff, Web3 services, and then people that are not. So probably the person you, you are watching, called normies, uh, or like muggles. Um, how do we get you to use what we make? Um, one of the features that we really need to push out, uh, we're calling it create an NFT or mint an NFT. When you make a new NFT, you call it minting. It allows you to basically drop a picture, upload a picture, and then put it into the Solana blockchain. Here's what it looks like, create your NFT, um, you put in your name, royalty, NFT image, and then voila, it imprints on the uh, Solana blockchain. I've been trying to advertise this in various ways. There's obviously the official way of saying this is what you released, here's the various ways to do it. And then yesterday, something that worked really well is I posted on my personal and went to my friends. Uh, some of them are, are college students and have been um, fashion and art people, do a little art uh, shming. Thinking about Bob <laughs> through creating an FT. And then I actually, this was retweeted by uh, Anatoly, who is the founder of uh, Solana. So, different ways to market products to get people to see what we're working on. One of the greatest parts about living and working in New York City is the food. I would say it's actually not that great, as many as people say, but the minimum, like the threshold, is relatively high. So everything is like a C average, but there's never like D's or F's. The dankest, the greatest thing right in front of our office is Baudega. Shout out to the lunch special. Tripod beef, soup, egg roll, rice. Let's dig into it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm realizing how sad this is. Eating by myself, talking to a camera. It's kind of the dystopian world that I fear, but really comforting. Uh, yeah, Baudega. They did not sponsor this video. Uh, please sponsor me if you've seen this. They do like a $15 lunch special where they give you a soup, rice, and 
a main. Highly recommend the dry pot, dry hot, dry pot beef. So these collections go in waves. Uh, they call them whiteless. So a bunch of people were able to mint uh, at this stage, this early stage. They got early access. They also got to do it for a little cheaper. This new wave, whiteless two, is starting in about six minutes, and then we're gonna open it up to what's called public for slightly above price uh, for anyone to mint and partake in whatever this is. Uh, that's a gnarly looking monkey. I would argue coolest part of being part of a startup, especially compared to my days in banking, is seeing impact. You can literally view in front of your eyes, especially in your current company, uh, like an NFT startup, uh, the impact that you can have in the company, in the services, the products, the clients that you're partaking with. Uh, I like banking and other things where you're just a cog in the machine. Here you could pursue things that you actually want to try. Uh, last December, there was this campaign that I spearheaded. We called it Hypeness, kind of like Christmas. And we partnered with a bunch of artists in the space to do free mints, uh, essentially handout art. Uh, there were troubles along the way. There were things that we need to figure out. But it's just crazy that even at this age, you can have that much impact and see it in front of your eyes, what you're building and the effect that you have on your customers and, and your company and your industry. It's booming. I really highly encourage you guys to try uh, startups before your young youthful career ends.